Hot 103, the hottest tip music station. You're chilling with your boy Henry G on a Sunday afternoon. All your favorite Latin hip hop and oldies. Right now, though, it's an honor to be joined on the show by Mr. Capone. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining me. You were, well, what's up, Henry G? It's Mr. Capone, Las Cruces, my little city that I'm always at. What's crack like it? Just chilling. You know how we do it. Let everybody know what the typical Sunday afternoon is like for you. Sunday afternoon, just chilling right here with a little Corona, you know, uh, just a little barbecue, coming from a big old party the night before a concert, you know, so just a little uh, chill mode, Sunday's a chill mode. Definitely, now who'd you grow up listening to and what inspired you to pursue a career in hip-hop? Man, you know, start off in Navarro, you know, just chilling in Navarro, uh, listening to hip-hop, rap, uh, especially the G-rap, you know, West Coast, uh, Easy E, NWA, uh, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, all that. And, uh, you know, just messing around, backyard boogie parties, getting on the like, not really as a professional, but just repping my vatero to other vatero's and, you know, having a good time and just getting into it. And, uh, shoot, that just kind of got me in the rapping mode. And then I got Torcido locked up. When I got locked up, you know, when you get locked up, you think a lot, no matter who you are, you just sit, sit in there and like, what am I doing when I get out kind of thing. And to me, ain't no 905 was going to be for me. So I'm thinking like, man, if I could rap, that'd be tight. That would be a dream. That'd be a dream come true. And uh, shoot, like, get this vision in your mind, like you put your head right, you get it happening. And, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, I'm just talking on my, you know, just talking. And the next thing you know, I'll come out on the streets, bump into lighter shade of brown. He tells me, hey, come to the studio and uh, we're going to be doing, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be chilling. Uh, bring some, you know, he didn't look at me as a rapper. He looked at me as, uh, you know, just guy who got a lot of girls, you know, because <laughs> I put a lot of girls back then. So I'm like, yeah, don't even trip. I got a bunch of girls come party. Next thing you know, uh, went to the studio, a bunch of girls, partied it up. Next thing you know, I'm recording. Next thing you know, I have a song on a compilation. Next thing you know, Capone's blowing up. <laughs> just like that <laughs> alright now what was your vision when you started High Power what were some of your early goals and how did the label itself come together well when I started you know when I first started like there was a lot of other you know rap out there that wasn't the kind of stuff that I was kind of talking about and kind of living so you know I was in there you know High Power is a very strong word street word and uh one day some guy called me and goes yo you did a song that song was tight I want to put that on a compilation I want to pay you money. Here's, you know, two grand uh, just to license your song and put on my compilation. Can I uh, get that song? I'm like, yeah, cool. Let's do it. I'm like, damn, we'll get two grand. At that time, I was like, you know, whoa, you know, like, that's a lot of money. So I was like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, let's do it. And then next thing, okay, well, I need to know your record label. And I was like, oh, shoot, I, I don't got no record label. My mind was like thinking, like, I just got a CD out, you know, I just got a song out, I got no record label, so I just, top of the head, I said, high power, and then he's like, all right, cool, from there, done dilly, high power was. Hot 103, the hottest hit music station, you're chilling with Henry G's special guest, Mr. Capone, we got a lot more to talk about, here is Mr. Capone featuring Nate Dog. this is I Like It, Hot 103. Hot 103, the hottest tip music station. You got it locked on a Sunday afternoon. Your boy Henry G, special guest, Mr. Capone. Now, I think you guys get a bad rap for a lot of the negative stereotypes that go along with Chicano rap. But you guys also broke barriers. You were among the first to do tracks with mainstream artists. Talk about the importance of doing those tracks and what you hope to accomplish with those. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the stereotypes of us being negative, that's all that's all untrue because we're doing something positive because if it wasn't for this rap music if it wasn't it, it wouldn't inspire probably a thousand other rappers after I came out that look like me that been through the same shoes as me and nowadays I see these same guys that are on the streets being knuckleheads they're, they're out there in the studio some of them bought their own studio some of them are doing graphic designs so it just changed the whole world I mean not to say I'm like the man who did all that but at the end of the day I, I seen it helped out for the positive for a lot of people to be inspired to do music and start doing better things yeah you know when you first come out a lot of people are a little bit raw whatever but as they grow in time it started turning professional some people made it some people didn't but at least they kept them off the street and they're focus on other things and being a positive product to society instead of just doing you know the negative uh, dummy stuff and uh, at the end of the day with me 
you know, doing that, working with bigger artists and, you know, sky's the limit, you know, we want to be just as big as Rick Ross or Lil Wayne one of these days, you know, but we're doing it our style, the homie style, you know? Right, now when you were first starting out, what was the first sign of progress you saw that gave you optimism and made you believe that you could do it? Man, the first time my song was on a compilation, the first day it was in the stores, I walked into the mall, and why when I walk out the mall, I hear my music playing super loud, like out of the whole CD, I hear my song loud from a bunch of girls in the car, and they're like dancing, and here goes my music. I'm like, oh, damn. Right when I heard that, it just clicked in my head like, wow, I think, I, it just made me think like, I'm on the right path, and I just kept grinding from there, you know? Now, you know there's nothing but love for you and High Power out here in Las Cruces. What do you want to say to all your fans that call in and request your music, to everyone who goes out there and buys your albums, and just to all your fan base out here in Las Cruces? Man, I got a lot of love for Las Cruces. I mean, I always stop through that city. I remember the first time, I was one of the first cities when we were on tour, we stopped at, and uh, we rolled up to that, uh, your radio station right there, you know, a little station right there. Came out the building, it was like 500 people outside, and I was like, damn, over here too? So I was like, I was like, man, I, I love the city. And after that, always had love for Las Cruces, always have love for them because they always show love. And anytime we're going through Las Cruces, going out Paso, or if we're in a tour passing, I go stop in Las Cruces, let's chill, at least go eat. Just so I can feel like, you know, this is one of my little spots that back in the day. So I got love for Las Cruces and I probably got love for Las Cruces. That's all good. Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest, Mr. Capone. We're about to talk about his upcoming Tears of a Soldier album. Before we do, here is Mr. Capone. You should be a model. Hot 103. You got it locked on Hot 103, the hottest hit music station on a Sunday afternoon. Special guest, Mr. Capone. Now, what's the official release date for the Tears of a Soldier album? Tears of a Soldier, July 12th. Make sure to go to my favorite spot in Las Cruces, Hastings Music. Best Buy right there. We always stop over there. Sometimes we're in town. You never know. We might stop there in July again. So make sure you guys go pick up Tears of a Soldier, Mr. Capone. I got my new song. Uh, I did you wrong on YouTube right now. Google it, Mr. Capone. Follow me up on the Twitter. I got that going, uh, Mr. Capone. Uh, Twitter slash Mr. Capone, M R C A P O N E E. And if you're this interview right now and uh, you hit me up and say, Yo, I just heard the interview, guess what? I'll retweet you and I'll hit you back, send you back a message. So, everyone, Las Cruces, make sure you keep following Mr. Capone. We'll be back soon. You know what I'm saying, Henry? I feel you. Tell us a little bit about the Tears of a Soldier album, who you're working with on it, and what could your fans expect the first time they pick it up and throw it in their deck? Tears of the Soldiers like one of my old school albums. I'm, I'm taking it back, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking it back to the grind, to the nitty gritty. Uh, just kind of basically just it's more of an album about like the struggle, what I've been through, and plus a little bit of the old school stuff that I had. So it was the Tears of the Soldier throughout these years. You know, every soldier has a tear, and I just wanted to express some of the songs. I have a little expression about the goods and bads, of how I lost homies over this music stuff, how you lose things, you know, come up you, you got people who you know betray all, all these is basically tears of a soldier you know a soldier goes through a lot of stuff and you know that's the album kind of basically breaks it down and uh it's just straight old school stuff my old stuff not with the old school beats but some of the modern beats but all old school style bringing it back tech talking about you know what every homie goes through and you know doing right and then you always end up doing wrong you know what I'm saying now you touched on it a little earlier that you did kind of set the blueprint as far as Chicano rap goes how does it feel to know that you've inspired a whole new breed of Chicano rappers it's a good feeling you know sometimes I like it sometimes I don't like I mean I love when everyone's trying to do, do the same thing and do it right but man, so some of you rappers out there don't look too much alike you know what I'm saying because <laughs> if you ain't on your game you're giving me a bad image but other than that it's a great inspiration that, you know, everyone's trying to do it and do it right. Just It's always you got to be a little creative. So if you're doing something the same, just be a little more creative and it'll be all good. But, man, it's, it's a great feeling to see all these people trying to do the same thing and trying to come up. And that's just all about, you know, everybody just trying to come up and do it right, whether it's doing a rap production, music, beat, whatever it is, graphics. It's all in the same circle, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, with everything you've been able to accomplish, not only in Chicano rap, but in the music industry as a whole, what are you personally most proud of? Most proud of? Uh, honestly, I'd, I'd say, uh, I would say keeping my time 
keeping me busy, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I don't know, how, I've been in the game for about six, ten, I mean, ten years now, the rap game almost. And honestly, it feels like I've been in it for only a year or two. Well, that's a sign that I've been busy. Because I go, damn, it's been a minute, but it doesn't feel like a minute. So I guess that's something that feels good. I haven't been really in that much trouble like I used to be back in the days for 10 years old, you know? Yeah. Now, I see you guys have been real active out on the road doing your thing, doing shows. What's your upcoming tour schedule like, and where's the high power bus headed next? Yeah, we got a couple tour buses out there, so... Las Cruces, the closest we're in, I'm going to plug in my boy's show. It's going to be at the convention center in Albuquerque, July 16th, almost 10,000 plus people. Uh, we're going to headline, I'm headlining that show. It's going to be huge. Albuquerque is only maybe hours, a couple hours away, so convention center, see you guys there. And if you guys don't show up there, don't trip. Henry G is going to set up a show, and uh, we're going to do, do something huge and uh Cruces, I'm thinking by before October time. All right, Mr. Capone, thank you so much for being a part of On a Sunday Afternoon right here on Hot 103 with your boy Henry G. Any shout outs you want to give? And lastly, can you go ahead and pick a song and introduce it for all of your fans out here in Las Cruces? Check out the Homie Criminals album that just came out right now. Uh, all the high power music. Shout out to all the high power soldiers. Everyone who's holding it down. Your big homie Damien out there at the station. Damien, uh, Henry G holding down the, the music. And man, just everyone who's supporting and pushing it the right way and all my people on Las Cruces. Is it, is it hot out there, Las Cruces, right now? Yeah, man, it's burning up out here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, whether it's cold or hot, we're going to play this song, Summertime Man from Mr. Capone. Big shouts out to Las Cruces. Let's, let's have a nice Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit.